I haven't had many videos posted lately because I've been busy doing things around the house. I also did another project and then I got, I don't know, I got kind of got stalled out. It happens when you do this all the time. It's not often, but occasionally you'll get into a funk and I did. And I just wanted to sit around for, I don't know, days on end. I didn't do that. I did other stuff, but I didn't do any videos. I didn't do any real projects. I did a bunch of stuff out here in the shop to make a big, huge mess, but really didn't get anything out of it. That's part of the process here. You do things that looks like it's going to work out fine when you think about them. And then when you go to do them, and I've got a really good example of that. It's a camera stabilizer that I was trying to make. And I went through, I think, five different, you know, variations on it. And none of them worked. They went from simple to very complex. And they all didn't perform the way I thought they would. So I'm back to square one with those. Anyway, I've got two drill bits. This is the result of a lot of the comments that I got saying that I was drilling too fast. Now, a lot of my videos are sped up in certain sections. So you really can't go by looking at it to say, okay, that looks too fast because I might have increased the speed of the video, you know, to squeeze more content into a smaller package. Uh, I'm not sure about the, the RPM. I never change this. It's always at the same speed. And I look at the thing up here and it looks like C2, C2 is 680 RPM. So that's not a very fast speed, you can see. But apparently it's too fast in a lot of people's opinion for drilling holes with carbide. A lot of um, comments about the lubrication I use, oh, I should have used water. Uh, one guy even said use beeswax. I don't have beeswax. I have oil. I have water. I'm not going to go out and specially buy something to do this. Although I did today. I went out this morning and I bought two new bits. These are identical. These are 3 sixteenths of an inch. I intend to use them right out of the package. I'm not going to sharpen them to drill two holes into this broken off file. Most of the comments were for slowing the speed down. I did get one comment from a viewer that I know has a lot of practical experience and he said you should actually drill faster and do it dry. So I'm going to try fast and dry with one bit and slow and lubricate it with the other. I'm just going to use oil again but I'm going to slow the speed right down as slow as this uh, drill press will go. And for this one I'll go as fast as the drill press can go and see how they perform. I also got a couple of recommendations or a couple of comments saying that glass drills work. So I bought one of those. This is considerably more expensive than these ones though. These ones are like four bucks each. This is uh, over 10, almost 12 bucks. So well, three times as expensive. The idea of the original video was to show using stuff that you might have on hand. You know, if you're handy around the house or whatever, a lot of people have those uh, carbide bits sitting around. They might have bought them with a set of drill bits that you get on special, you know, at different places. And it's just an idea that you could do this with that if you needed to. It wasn't about buying this specific brand of drill bit or this specific type of drill bit to drill the hole. It was about making do with what you have. And that's what I do a lot of on my channels. That's what I do a lot of here in my workshop. So you're getting reality there. I slowed down the speed on the drill press to the lowest speed it will go to. And that's 280 RPM uh, for lubrication. I'm just going to use 3-in-1 oil. I'm going to spray it on the bit and on the file itself. Now, like I said, the drill bits haven't been sharpened. I took them straight from the package, put them in the drill. Because that was another comment I got. Well, you don't need to sharpen them at all. They'll drill it without doing that. The other comment about going low speed was apply constant heavy pressure. Don't let up. Don't back off because that's what will you know, dull a bit. Okay, well this is definitely slow. It doesn't seem to be cutting at all. I'm putting on a lot of force too. Okay, well I'm not impressed. It uh, went, you know, in about, I don't know, ten thousandths of an inch. 
and I was putting a massive amount of force on it, pushing it down. And look at the bit and see. Yeah, the carbide is actually completely worn flat on the end here. I'll get a picture and show it. I turned up the speed on the drill press to 3,000 RPMs. That's the fastest this machine will run. And we'll see how this works out. I think the biggest problem for going fast might be that even though the carbide can withstand the heat, the brazing that holds it into the steel shank of the drill bit might fail. Okay, well, <laughs> that one didn't work any better, but at least it was more entertaining. It looks like the carbide tip itself is embedded into the file. Still pretty hot, as you can imagine. I got to thinking after the first hole, maybe, possibly, the drill bits that I bought, which were Ryobi. I cut the label off so that you guys wouldn't see it. Ryobi doesn't make especially great tools, so... I'm going to try it with the glass drill. The glass drill is Bosch. Bosch is known for making high quality tools, although they do make a few duds, so don't get me wrong. The other possibility is that the file itself is much harder than the other steel that I drilled before. The chisel was hardened and tempered back to a certain degree of hardness. It, was, it couldn't be drilled with a standard drill bit but I could drill through it with the carbide. Same with the wrench. Wrenches are hardened and then tempered back to a, a degree of hardness to give them the flexibility that they need to be. You don't want the chisel to shatter the first time you strike it with the hammer. You don't want the wrench to break in half, uh, you know, if you're putting some torque on it. So maybe the file is a bit too hard. Unfortunately, I don't have any other drill bits to try this out. Maybe I should have went with the, um, chisel. I did actually look for it. I couldn't find it. So I saw the file and I said, well, this is an old file. I'll use this. Okay, I'm going to change the speed back to what I had it before, which is my normal drilling speed, 680 RPMs. Like I say, I don't ever change this because I hate changing it. Okay, I've got the glass drill put in. I remember I'm at the lower speed, 680. I'm gonna put some oil on here because I believe that oil is the best thing. Oil cools the drilling operation and it also uh, lubricates the cut so that it you know cuts better. Okay, it made it through. It actually punched through the last little bit. I'm going to take it out of the drill press. Hopefully it's not too hot. That's not bad. The carbide that's in the bit is destroyed, but it still did some drilling action. You can see actual shavings coming out of there, and it did make it through, obviously. But like I say, one hole, one bit. This is a $12 bit that I just ruined on this one hole. A few guys recommended cobalt. I've had cobalt bits in the past and they didn't seem to be any better than say regular titanium bits but then again it might be a matter of quality like you have here lesser quality, better quality, one outperforms the other and they're on the same shelf so you have to I guess take your chances, buy it, try it and see. Thank <laughs> you.